Uh, thanks a lot for grabbing the plugin. If you haven't already, head over to purpleturtle.pro and uh, grab the plugin. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over how to update from the old version to the new version. So, of course, logically, then I'll show you how to install it. But uh, a couple of features that we've included inside the 2.6.0 update. Uh, first of all, it's uh, it's actually we're we're printing the XML file to uh, the folder, the plugin folder of your WordPress directory. Um, so it's you can go in there and you can actually edit the the feed. You know, so you can add something or take something away, whatever the case may be. Uh, so that you don't necessarily have to continuously edit right from inside of your WordPress uh, WooCommerce product page, you know, adding attributes, whatever the case may be. So we've uh, we've actually created an XML file and saved it on uh, generation. So it's not made on the fly anymore. Uh, it loads a lot faster and uh, puts a lot less load on the server. You can also name it, whatever you want to name it. So you can have seven or eight of them, name different things, pulling different categories. Um, okay. So we also have put in a uh, its own uh, administration area. You're going to see that when uh, when we get into the installation, um, they can be automatically updated by the WordPress cron job. You set the time; it's set automatically for, for 12 hours. Uh, you can set this to 24 hours, an hour. Bear in mind the 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 load that you're going to put on the server, depending on how much uh, how many products are inside of your your store. So just be wary of that. 12 hours is a good starting point. 24 hours. Uh, is is the uh, ideal setting. Um, so yeah, uh, you can sort feed into columns. You will get into that in a minute. Uh, plugin ref does require write um, uh, permissions to the folder, but it'll give you an alert if it's not. Uh, how to set write permissions? You can actually just Google set write permissions. It should be uh, because it's your WordPress upload folder. It should already have these permissions, so there shouldn't be any problems there. Um, and user can man manually update the feeds just by going over it. Okay, so how to upgrade. First thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your WordPress website and you're going to deactivate the old plugin and delete it and then remove all the files. Very straightforward. So then we're going to upload the new plugin and activate it. So now if you if you just purchase the plugin, this will be your client area. You're going to see this active services here. I'm going to go ahead and click that. And you're going to see WordPress plugins. I'm going to go to this side of the page and I'm going to click on view details. Downloads tab, and I'm going to download the latest version. Now, after I've downloaded the latest version, you're going to log into the dashboard of your WordPress install, navigate to plugins, and add new. After the page loads, um, you're going to navigate to the upload up at the top of the screen here, and then select from the desktop and the choose file, select, oh, wherever your download is. I'm just saying desktop, download folder, whatever. You're going to download or upload the uh, 2.6.0. At this time, later on, it may be. 2.7. I don't know how long this video will last for very the, um, with the updates and whatnot. So um, you're going to double click this and it'll put that there. I'm going to put the install now button and wait for it to upload that plugin. After it's been uploaded, we're going to activate this plugin. And then on the left hand side of the screen at the bottom, um, you're going to see a new uh, admin tab here. Very handy as you can see it right here. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it should take me to a place where I enter my license. Now, you don't see that right now because it's already done. I just took it out and put it back in again. Your license is in the Information tab. It's right here. This is your WordPress plugin single li or multi-site license. Just grab this whole thing, including the single, and then copy that and then paste it into the first box that you see here, um, and then hit Next, and then it will take you to this screen. Now, we've uh, we kept the attributes mapping the same way it was, um, a little smarter this time. So um, we just, I'm just going to go down here and, and whatever we found inside of the attributes full um, inside of the attributes for your WooCommerce products down here is going to be printed here, and then we're just going to match them up accordingly. So uh, that's an age group. This would be brand, color, gender, MPN. Um, I can put the identifier exists, or I can put a GTIN. So the GTIN or the MPN, you need two of all of them. So, and then you click update. Now, if you've seen to mess these up and you need them to go back to zero, we have added the reset button. So it'll put that back to wherever it was. Now, uh, I did want to cover the attributes area. If um, if you've, you've you're just finding this video and you haven't purchased the plugin yet, something to consider. Uh, inside the products, inside of the attributes, this is how we map the attributes. Piped. Um, attributes per product uh, are not supported. So if you actually have a product 
Let me just kind of wait for this to load. Just give me a second here. If you have a product that in the attributes you have your colors, sizes, whatever the case may be in there, piped, and I'll show you a quick demo of what piped means. So if we go to the attributes here, you can see the list here. Um, I'm grabbing these from the list, whatever I've created inside of the um, attributes of the WooCommerce system. An example of a piped attribute is something that looks like this. So you'll name it something like color, and then you'll have your piped attributes where it'll say red pipe, green pipe. Oops, oh, I forgot that was the first pipe. Pipe, green pipe, blue. Now, when you pipe it like this, uh, WooCommerce, it, we have a really hard time separating those and, and individualizing them through this plugin. So right now, the piped attributes are not supported. So uh, basically, what you got to do is you just got to go into your attributes area like this, add them like this, um, and then once you've added your attributes, you can actually go into the actual attribute and then add the terms of that attribute. So just waiting for this particular one to load. You can see inside of here we have an age group attribute, which is mandatory for pretty much everything. Uh, we have an adult, adult and kids, but if you know if you, if you have teens, adults, babies, you know whatever the case may be, you put them all in here and then apply them to the product. I'm just going to remove this. Yes, I do. And you can see the age group here, where if that wasn't filled out, I'm just going to remove that all together. So if I wanted to apply the attribute, I'd go down here to age group, I'd hit add, and then I just click here and I get a drop down and I'd select one and then I'd select the other or one or the other or both, uh, and that's it. So you don't have to click the visible on product page. Uh, that can stay blank so that the people don't really know what's going on. You click update and that's it. So heading back into the purple XMLS feeds, I'm going to click on the top feeds button here. Now, when you're done with your attributes mapping, uh, you're going to head over to the select feed output. And we fixed the all categories, so the all categories is working now. Now, uh, again, um, I'll reiterate that loading all the categories in one feed is generally not a good idea, but if it's uh, if you don't have thousands or hundreds of thousands or hundreds even of, pro of products, if you have less than a hundred, you can pretty safely select the all categories. Anything over that, I would I would separate them into individual feeds. But in this case, I'm going to use the all categories feed, and then I'm going to select the Google category. And this is, I usually tell people again, don't don't go too far down, you know. So. Um, you can see I can say I'm using sunglasses here, so I'm going to go to the uh, apparel and accessories and I'm going to navigate to something like uh, sunglasses. There they are right here, sunglasses. And I could get away with just going apparel and accessories and clothing accessories. I would, don't really have to go right down to sunglasses, but I thought I would because that's what these are. Uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go up to the accessories, clothing accessories, and then I hit click get feed. Now, you notice that I didn't enter this name in here. If, if I don't click, uh, if I don't enter a name, it's just going to enter a default name for me. So you don't have to do anything else at that point. You can literally just grab this and enter it into the merchant center. Now, after you've generated a feed, if I want to generate another one and I screwed that one up or I select the wrong category and I want to grab another category, but I wanted to keep this the same, I could name this new too or something. And then you get the feed again. Now, every time I do that, I'm creating a file inside of the uploads folder of my plugin folder but you can manage the feeds over here so you can click on this manage feeds area right here and then you'll get a list of all the feeds you've created you can view them or you can delete them so right now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete that one and I'll wait for the page to load and I'm gonna delete that one and I'll wait for the page to load and so on and so on so after you're done you now have a actual XML file that now like I said I can go into my cPanel I can navigate to the uploads purple XMLS Google folder and I can edit this and I can add some some things I could reword it I could I could do whatever I want with this feed okay so that's uh, pretty much it um, cleaned up a lot of uh, pieces we've got taken care of a lot of errors uh, if you have any problems with the with the plugin, uh, head over again to your client area. Just click right on the logo here, and no matter where you are in the system, uh, there will be a. Where are we here? Support. Here we go. Support. And then you can select tickets and then open a new ticket. And let us know. Um, you'd probably put it under general support or something like that. Let us know any problems that you have. I'm glad to help. You can also chat with the specialist right down here. And uh, we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Okay, thanks again. Have a great day.